Hello and welcome to Taiwan News. We continue to give some information about China's illegal drilling rig 8D 9H1 in the territorial waters of Vietnam. Since two days ago, May the 17th, there have been 119 Chinese vessels around the area of 8D 9H1, including law enforcement vessels, combat ships, missile frigates, fast attack patrol vessels, petroleum ships, and iron fishing ships. In addition, China also added two new warship missile fast attack vessel 755 and fast attack patrol vessel 789 for clearance to threaten the law enforcement forces of Vietnam. Last May the 16th, at exactly 11 p.m. on Fulham Island, northeast of the Paracel Island, about 110 nautical miles from the rig, the big fishing boat 306 of China captured QNG 90205 fishing boat of Tuang Ngai province. The crew members were beaten and the properties on board were destroyed. Two crew members were seriously injured and the fishing boat has been kept at Fulham Island by China. In this situation, Vietnam's law enforcement vessels still continue to protect and support fishermen to ensure the safety of people and vehicles around the said area. The Bureau of Vietnamese Fishermen Inspection also encourages fishermen to stick together to form teams to easily facilitate cooperation and support in case of any incident occurrence. Related to incidents of the rally against China's illegal drilling rig HD-981 that happened on former industrial park Vungang Economic John Kiang District, Hating Province, on the morning of the 18th of May, Hating Police issued a decision to prosecute and arrest 16 people on charges of theft and disturbing public order. Although the incident was complex since it involved many people in large area, the police forces of Hating implemented different streams in order to ensure security and order in Vung An Economic John. They also conducted surveys and classified the subjects to deal with criminals strictly based on the law. Further investigation to clarify the incident is being done. In a related case, Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung made a strong public message to all ministry, provinces and cities to handle a situation like this. He requested that those who have a severe vulnerable behavior or agitation certainly violated the law and must be given strict punishment. He stated that in the past days, people throughout the country who rallied against China's illegal drilling SD-981 placement in Vietnam's wars is a worthy action. However, in some localities, people have had some illegal vulnerable actions, including destroying production facilities of foreign investors and on-duty people. Those actions seriously cause negative effects on production, stir social order and endanger people's life, and compromise the investment environment and foreign policies of our party and state. Prime Minister asked the Ministry of Public Security and other agencies of the central and provincial levels across the country to expeditiously implement synchronous measures to strictly deal with those who violate the law to ensure security, order and absolute safety of the life and property of every person, every enterprise to ensure normal production and business activities, especially those business run by foreign investors, convince and advise people to work together to preserve security and order, to help each other unite business development, improve livelihoods and contribute to the country in protecting the sacred sovereignty in accordance with the laws of our country and that of the international law. Last May the 4th, the Delegation of Strategic Institute and Military Strategic Research Center of Royal Cambodian Armed Forces paid a working visit to Thái Nguyên province. Mr. Chen Quốc Tỏ, Deputy Secretary of Thái Nguyên Communist Party Committee, welcomed the delegation. The Military Strategic Institute was formed in 1995 under the direct leadership of RCAF's command. It has the responsibility of researching military strategies in upholding national defense, politics, and the military techniques of RCAF in different periods. 
this courtesy visit to Vietnam is to see and study the defensive experiences and especially to establish defensive zone based on Vietnamese People's War. In the working session, both sides exchanged some experiences, conveniences and difficulties in forming defensive zones in localities. In so doing, the Cambodian delegation witnessed the concerns of Thai Nguyen authorities and its security committees about forming the province defensive zones. The security and military services completed their mission of acting as counselors for local security committee, an authority forming specific projects founded on the form and strength of defensive zone ready to solve the social security and political problems in the society. These are the practical and important lessons for the RCAF to learn and eventually apply in real life in the near future. On the morning of May the 17th, the Veterans Association of Thái Nguyen held their conference to give honor to the typical groups and individuals for their commendable economic activities. Mr. Dương Ngoc Long chaired the conference. The conference gives importance to 120 groups and individuals residing within Thái Nguyen province. These veterans served in the war and fought for the liberation of Vietnam. They survived the injuries and suffered the dismal effect of the Asian Orange. After the war, peace was won and they started to live an ordinary life by establishing business opportunities to help them overcome the hardships of life and override difficulties brought about by the war. With sheer hard work and determination, the enterprises owned by veterans have commercialized stably, creating jobs for jobless. They supported each other in selling products that positively contributed to the program of building new rural areas. The chairman of the People's Committee of Thái Nguyen Province expressed his gratitude and show appreciation of the exertion of efforts and strong fighting spirit of Thái Nguyen Veterans Association. He also hoped that they could bring in the essence of Uncle Ho soldiers to contribute to the social economic development of the local area. Concerning the fact that China perversely established the oil rig in Vietnamese territorial water, the representative of the Veterans Association transmitted the common statement of the Vietnamese Veterans Association about the issues of the South China Sea based on the determined spirit of protecting independence, territorial integrity, and upholding justice and international laws. Last May the 17th, Mr. Dương Ngoc Long, Chairman of People's Committee of Thái Nguyen Province, monitored the clearing ground process in transfer of certain area of building industrial zone in Điểm Thụy Industrial Zone. Some important roads in Yên Bình Industrial Zone were also included in the agenda of the Chairman. The Điểm Thủy Industrial Zone is located at the heart of Điểm Thủy and Thượng Đình Commons, Phú Bình District and in Hồng Tiến Commons, Phổ Yên District. It has a total approved area of 350 hectares. Currently, the clearing ground process is being strongly fostered. For Phổ Yên District, 100% of households agreed with transfer ownership of the ground to Điểm Thủy Industrial Zone. However, there were still some households who remained adamant to do this. To deal with this problem, the chairman of People's Committee visited the site and personally encouraged the households in the project area regarding the need for transfer. He then analyzed the role of the people in the general development of the province economy to raise people's awareness. He explained the compensation procedure and the moving plans to them. Simultaneously, the chairman also checked the process of building the number five ring road, which connects Yên Bình One Industrial Zone and the number thirty-six road of Yên Bình Industrial Zone. Through this monitoring session, he appreciated the efforts of localities in clearing the ground, and at the same time, he also required the participating units to distribute the works clearly to each member and personally advise people on how to solve the problems, hasten the process of leveling the ground, give the right amount of concentration on inventory, explain the investment for infrastructure so that people will feel secured and thereby move for an easy transfer. 
That ends our program today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now and see you next time.